as much as you get fucked on Jack in the park, bitch on Twitter, the bathhouses, the gym. That hence your hands are so calloused up in your car. <laughs> Cypress Street, if you're in Atlanta. Girl! The Pier, Christopher Street, if you're in New York. Girl! Prospect Park, if you're in Brooklyn. Girl! In bathrooms on Twitter? And touch this man's chest as if he was going to say, I'm fucking you dead. Go ahead. And you see security didn't see it at first, but once he was alerted, the other security was like, where he at? Where he at? And then you would bring your homosexual ass, homosexual ass to the internet had they whooped, stomped, which would, they wouldn't have been justified for a touch. So right. I want to I clear this up. But had they whooped, stomped, maimed, Bludgeon. Bl I was bludgeon, knocked, and did these things to you, and told us that you were gay bash. It's just like a few weeks ago down at the Woodruff, the gays go down. Well, it's 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 really a first Friday at the at the museum, and it's a party and it's mixed, straight, gay, whatever. Well, there was a straight boy, I mean a, a gay boy, who, from what I heard, touched a straight boy's ass, and that black and that straight boy whipped his ass. And what happened? We had the video up here. He, he the gay boy touched the straight boy's ass, and the, the straight boy whipped his ass. Like, why are you touching people? Like, I just I just think it's inappropriate to touch people. Period. I wouldn't care if we were in the gay club. Keep your fucking hands to yourself. Like, don't touch me. Like, that's not okay. Well, here's the thing, Greg. The boy was all right. You saw the girl here. He was all, there. But he has agency of his own body. If he want to let the girl touch him, he can do that. And, that, and I'm, 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 yeah. I'm picking up what you put now. Yeah. But what I'm also saying is, Pope, don't do that. Pope, don't do that. Right. And then be like, oh, my God, help me. I was gay bash. Because please believe, had that boy put point it, those security guards would have would have loved, would have, would have basked in the opportunity to mm -hmm. stomp you right there because mm -hmm. they ain't want your gay ass in there any motherfucking way mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but he handled it he did i think he handled it very well. respectfully he handled it i think he did too it was that security guard that was saying where he at where he at though? ready and we'd have been covering that on vector we sure would have said girl honey the girl went down there girl, and the trays whooped her <laughs> Because we would have been covering it. The trays whooped her. <laughs> I remember me having a conversation, but here's because here's the thing about some bodyguards, right? Uh huh. Some bodyguards have this built up thing where they want to whoop a punk anyway. Yeah, yeah. This one made me get into it the first time with have have words about Faith Evans the first time. Did I say that name out loud? You okay. Did. Well, this is what made me have words about Faith Evans the first time back in the day when we when I when I hosted um drag um. When the drag Tempted on. to touch in Vegas. That was the first time. That's the first time. Mm. I remember I never called her name, but I had made some comments about, you know, 
she's a heterosexual woman and she brought her security guards with her which she's supposed to have because she is a star mm -hmm. and the security guards were very aggressive they were already in an environment possibly that they didn't want to be in mm -hmm. because they were surrounded by so many homosexuals mm -hmm. and they didn't want to be around so i had made a video and i was talking about it and i i was laying the security out and slightly her mm -hmm. And then we had we went to DragCon, mm -hmm. maybe I think it's a couple of weeks later, because that video did traction. I never called her name. I just talked about the incident. And I and I and my statement was in your career, your your employees are a reflection of you. Yes, indeed. And if your employees that you bring there with you come in with aggression inside of her inside of their bodies towards homosexual people, homosexual, transsexual people, then maybe you should rethink about the bookings that you take. Mm -hmm. Then I also or get new different security, security right. to those places. Because right. if you're not checking them, right. Because they was uh -huh. it, it was it was very forceful. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, yo, yo, yo. But here's another thing that I do. Come on, Craig. Can I can I continue to share? Come on. You faggots. Who? I'm talking about the F A G G O T S. Mm. You faggots that are club promoters and are <clears throat> uh, event planners and all this stuff. You bring these hetero people. Come on. Who care absolutely nothing. Nothing about us faggots and trainees, and bull dykes, and all that stuff. You bring these people in. And you pay these people and you all pay this these money. People triple, quadruple. They quadruple and triple the amount. To you ready? Now come on. To entertain us, and they're only there for the check, which is fine because sometimes I show up for the coin only. <laughs> but they allow their staff members to be aggressive, to be to already come with this, with this. They 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 bring their body, they come to be body mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And this is the moment that you you ready. You they 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 can pounce. Yeah. Cause they ain't never gonna be in the space with no punks anyway. Uh -huh. So this is the moment that they can be real overly aggressive. Right. So I should have directed my comments to them at the time, but at the time I was just freshly getting into being booked and all this mm -hmm. stuff. And so I just felt some type of way. I was like, girl. So I made the video, the video made its rounds. And then after the video made its rounds, we ran into each other at DragCon. And I had never called her out her, call her out by name. I just called out the action or whatever. Mm -hmm. But obviously, a hit dog hollered. Mm -hmm. Once the hit dog hollered and we were uh at the drag con, my very first drag con back then, and you know, she was like, I'm not sitting by sitting by her. So I proceeded after Jack Hunt and I wore her out. She said she didn't want to sit by you? No. Oh. She did. She but, did. Yes, but no, she didn't want to sit by me. Uh -huh. Don't put me, put her. I was just told her. You heard her say that? Honey, all I know is when I came out, there was commotion and she was being moved. Uh-huh. I didn't under, I didn't know what was going on. Right. Chi Chi was there. Uh-huh. The, uh, the former was there. Uh-huh. But there was commotion going on, but I. But if you can't be checked by your motherfucking by your peoples, it mm -hmm. wasn't. It wasn't a dig at you. It was screen your people. Mm -hmm. Bitch, they was out there pushing the girl. I seen this. They was shoving the girls, and I'm like, damn. Did you? You can't tell them. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Oh wow, yeah. Hey, these my fans. Right. Hey, these are my fans. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Like, don't do that. Mm -hmm. Calm down. <laughs> mm. But again, to the faggot promoters, Event planners and all that, that that kill themselves mm. scraping up the coin mm. to bring these people in. But it's usually the black ones because when the 
white ones do it, the white ones book within the gay community. But here's also the thing, and I'm not saying that the white ones are better because usually white prize have heavier, More money. heavier sponsors. Uh -huh. So they can take the heavier sponsorship and book it. But with whatever sponsorship they get, they invested in their gay, in their gay, in their gay liberties. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they in their gay liberties. Mm -hmm. They invested in their gay liberties. Right. Where the black sag promoters will get down and be like, well, well you know, mess, I can't. And I'm like, uh uh, no, 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 no. If Jocelyn Hernandez is getting $62,000, bitch, you can give me this. <laughs> <laughs> and Jocelyn gonna immediately call you a motherfucking fag in the 60 or something. She's gonna immediately do it. I mean, you know, there was a period where all those reality girls did Kenya, Nene. All of them girls were saying stuff, but they were paying them to come just walk through the club. Yeah, like thirty thousand, right. like forty thousand. It's just like and you, they usually. And it's just like nigga, the, they stayed the whole right. time. Right, yeah, they're they're like the fags. Yeah, they they just could come for like fifteen minutes and then they go. It's like what? what? <laughs> they don't even really want to be here, anyway. Right, and you pay them thousands and thousands of dollars. That's wild. Marla. Oh! Damn. Y'all got. But nice. I guess they figured that's that's who y'all want to see. Well, I mean, but here's but, but you want to know that you want to know. Here's where the internalized homophobia and transphobia comes from. We rush down there and pay those ticket prices. Though. Come on, somebody. Like no tea, no shade. I ain't gonna even say the punks, sissies, faggots, bull dykes, and everything else. That they call. They just they just so funny. They don't mean that. Mm -hmm. I. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, yes, they do. Well, they going to hell anyway. I mean, I'm just going to get their money. <laughs> I'm going to be looking down from heaven at you in hell. That's why I'm going to stand on this stage. I don't want to take too many pictures. 